let's learn some of the concepts about the cloud uh, what are the different types of cloud and in this video i am going to tell about tell you about the cloud on premise and hybrid uh, clouds which are important to understand means in uh, terms of understanding sap antics cloud so what sap antics offers so sap antics cloud uh, cloud can offer on premise application so on premise application or on premise cloud that means it is hosted by customer or uh, the client so all the setup all the user rights and access rights are maintained by the customer so it just uh, um, we just need to give our sap antics cloud uh, to the customer uh, so it is hosted by the customer there is cloud based application uh, it is hosted by provider suppose sap provides the sap cloud then it is hosted by uh, sap and then it uh, uh, maintains all the user rights user roles and granting access to different different users so all these be based on the cloud based application uh, the third system is hybrid uh, so it can be possible some of the uh, things maintained in the on premise and some of the things maintained at the cloud based uh, by the uh, provider so uh, it can be possible we can connect to both cloud and on premises uh, tool so all these three are different different types of the sap antics uh, cloud actually but uh, in sap antics cloud uh, can can give any of the service uh, for for the customers uh, to understand more in about sap antics architecture so this is something which is uh, give some more information about the sap antics cloud uh, architecture so you can see uh, we do have some applications uh, then antics capabilities uh, core capabilities and pas platform as service so sap cloud platform is uh, sap sap's cloud uh, which is uh, hosted by uh, sap and it is provided to the customer so what are the core capabilities of antics cloud you can see uh, it is it provides data connectiv uh, connectivity data wrangling data modeling administration auditing visualization collaboration mobile and apis so all these are the core capabilities of the sap antics cloud uh, then we can see analytic capabilities once uh, we uh, build some um, uh, database connectivity or uh, preparing data wrangling data modeling then it comes about the analytic capabilities so where sap antics cloud is uh, useful where it is bi planning predictive and application design so in bi it can be possible to have uh, discovery and then charts and tables uh, geo maps all this kind of visualization in planning we can have events and workflow allocation and value driver, uh, driver tree simulation uh, in pr predictive we have smart assist uh, build and deploy predictive model and in uh, application design we have scripting components uh, ui themes and style uh, sheet which is for application design based on the sdks and uh, the lastly the applications are sap digital boardroom sap antics hub and mobile experience so these are the different different things we can do sap digital boardroom we will see practically as well sap analytics hub as well we see means what is the use of it mobile experience how we can we can see how we can build the mobile uh, um, the applications which can be displayed over the, over the mobile devices as well so that we will see and um, uh, the SAP uh, cloud platform can connect to the Amazon Web Services, cloud data sources and its applications, uh, SAP data center as well, uh, like its on-premise data sources and applications. So this is overall uh, architecture of the SAP Antics cloud. Uh, so that's it from this uh, video, just to understand the basic concepts about the cloud and uh, what analytics uh, cloud provides. Uh, so if you have any questions, then please put it in comment section. And if you like my video, then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you for watching.